Hi students, I hope uh, you are doing well. So today we are back with a new video of the topic understanding quadrilateral. Okay. So uh, so far we discussed uh, what are parallelograms, what are the different types of quadrilateral. So far we discussed uh, kites and uh, uh, we discussed like uh, parallelogram and also trapezium. So these are the quadrilaterals we discussed. So today we are going to discuss the properties of uh, parallelogram. Some properties which you already know are the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. It means AB and CD are equal and BC and AD are equal. So this uh, was the property we discussed. And also one more property what we discussed the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. It means angle A is equal to angle C and angle B is equal to angle C. Correct? So this was the this were the properties which we discussed in the last video. Correct? So now there is one more property which we are discussing today. Diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Remember uh, I will not give you much more explanation about it. I will just explain you what this you know like statement mean or what this property means. So diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other nothing but what do you first you have to know what is the word called bisect. Okay. Bisect in the sense dividing a line into two equal parts. Okay. Dividing a line into two equal parts is called bisection. So for example here, what are the diagonals? As I said you, diagonal is a line segment which is formed by joining the opposite vertical. Correct? Diagonal is a line segment formed by joining the opposite vertical. So, for the parallelogram ABCD, what are the opposite vertices? A and C opposite, B and B are opposite. Because A and AB and the CD and AD and B C are adjacent. Adjacent means which are the other? See, A is adjacent to B or B is adjacent to C, but A is opposite to C. Okay. When you join the opposite vertices, whatever the line segment formed, that is called as diagonal. It means here in parallelogram ABCD, in parallelogram ABCD, AC and BD are diagonal correct in the parallelogram ABCD AC and BD are diagonal so now then what do you mean by this bisection it means the C as I said you O is the you should take it as a center it means BD length AC length it means what I can say for example A O should be equal to OC why it is like that because if this is 5 centimeters this will become 2.5 and 2.5 that is the theorem or that is the property it's actually that is actually the property is uh, this object actually they are telling if AC is the 5 meter or 5 centimeter AO and OC are equal it is 2.5 exactly it will become half okay bisect each other in the sense they will become half. It means exactly at this point, BD will become half and AC also become half. It means you can also write AC is half of OC or half of OA because OC and OA are equal. Correct? So AC is dividing into two equal parts or not? AC is half of OC. Sorry. Uh, yeah. AC, AC is I think Volta uh, AC uh, OC is equal to half of AC can write I think in the other way we have written here OA is nothing but half of AC it means if AC is 5 centimeters your OA will become half of that 5 if this is again 5 centimeters this will become 2.5 and this will become 2.5 so what exactly this property says diagonal will bisect each other or not see total is 5 again this total is 5 so this became 2.5 exactly at this point go this became 2.5 this became 2.5 this became 2.5 so exactly this line means 
this ac is bisected in this figure by looking at the, this figure you can understand this bd is bisecting ac correct exactly how okay it is exactly bisecting how it means before it is five this line ac is making 2.5 to 5 similarly if you see bd this line ac is becoming and if you see ac this line bd is this is total is 5 cm and this line what you are drawing it is bisecting 2.5 so they are bisecting each other so i will just explain separately here you can see that i will show here actually this is a line correct so imagine that this is 5 cm line which is ac so your bd what it is doing it is exactly making it half like this. okay making it half so this is 2.5 and this is this is called bisecting so ac is bisected into two equal parts so by which by bd similarly bd is bisected by ac okay at where they are bisecting both uh, you know like that is for meeting at point o there it is bisecting it means ac is bisecting bd at o as well as bd is bisecting ac at o okay so what you can understand here diagonal and the parallelogram bisect each other as we said if they bisect each other can i write uh, uh, i'll just write here so that you can see that properly okay just write here so we can uh, tell that a o is equal to o c because if a c is 5 cm a o will be 2.5 and o c will be 2.5 similarly b o is equal to o d correct in parallelogram a c and b d are diagonal and they bisect each other clearly told the bisect each other so a o should be equal to o c as this is continuation of this o c should be equal to o b should be equal to o d so it is not only with respect to 5 even if it is in 6 Six. What is the half of six? So three, three. If you take four, two, and two. So like that, diagonals will bisect each other only in the parallelogram. Remember, because we have another type of parallelogram, which is you know rectangles that have different properties. Okay, maybe there also bisection will be there, but the difference is there. Okay, so that we will discuss uh, in the other classes, like in the other videos. I hope you understood this. What basically I am trying to explain. Diagonal surface parallelogram bisect each other. It means this one easily you can remember in this way, which is easiest way I am telling. The BD is line, so this line is bisected by AC. So AC is the bisector of BD. Similarly, BD is the bisector of AC. So both are bisecting each other. So that is called bisection. What is bisection? I explain. It means a line is equally divided into two. Oh, sorry, a line is given two equal parts. So a line segment is given two equal. So if this is divided into two equal parts, what is the meaning of it? It means A O and O C should be equal. Similarly, if B D is divided into two equal parts, what is the meaning of it? D O and O B should be equal. So that is the reason I written A O is equal to O C and D O is equal to O D. Okay, this is one property. Next, coming to the next property. The adjacent of a adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. As I said, we got we already studied one property of opposite angles. What we studied the property was opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. That was the property we studied. Correct. In this case, adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. And as we as you guys know that there are two types of angles. One is supplementary. another one is complementary remember what do you mean by supplementary supplementary means if any like any pair of angles you remember supplementary is only for pair of angles not for an angle okay so if any pair of angles when can you say they are supplementary for example one angle you take it as x another angle you take it as y okay if this two sum uh, sum of these two angles is 180 then we can say that those two angles are supplementary so you can ask me sir so, uh, this should be 90 and this should be 90 not exactly sometimes it may be 90 90 even it is possible with uh, 
and 120 are isn't it 60 plus 120 is 0 and 130 plus 50 is uh, 60 plus 120 is 180 60 plus um, 150 plus 130 is also 180 see remember x and y sum should be 180 but doesn't mean that x may be any uh, any angle okay y may be any angle but if you add both you should get 180 so that is called supplementary angle I'll just repeat that once again. A pair of angles. What do you mean by a pair? A pair in the sense two angles. So a pair of angles whose sum is 180 degree. A pair of angles whose sum is 180 degree. Those angles are called, that pair of angles are called supplementary angles. So for example, if I take X as one angle and Y as angle, I'm adding them, we are getting 180. We don't know whether it is 50 plus uh, 130 is 180 or 120 plus 60 is 180 but if you add both the angles you are getting 180 so those angles we can call as supplementary angles remember don't think 90 plus 90 is always 180 not only 90 plus 90 even if you add 90 plus 100 uh, what is it uh, 100 and now or 90 plus uh, 90 is 180 or 80 plus uh, 100 is also 180 so any any possibility is there right any two angles sum may be 180. So if a pair of angles or if the sum of a pair of angles is 180, then we can call them as supplementary. And you might have studied one more, uh, you know, like uh, uh, what is it, a pair of angles, which is complementary angles. Complementary angles, when can you say that two angles are complementary? Same way you take X and Y. So if the sum of two angles is 90 degree, then we can call it as supplementary angles. Here also, this x may be 45, this may be 45, this may be 55 and 35, any pair, remember, any pair of angles, it should be a pair. Any pair of angles whose sum is 90 degrees, then we call them as complementary angles. So, in depth, uh, I think you'll discuss, uh, you can study in lines and angles, maybe in your uh, next level, okay. So, the adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. I hope you understood what do you mean by supplementary angles. What is the meaning of that, right? So, here adjacent angles are, uh, we are uh, taking. So, what are the adjacent angles here? This you can take angle 1, 2, 3, 4, correct? So, as we know from the properties of parallelogram, angle 1 and is equal to angle 3, angle 2 is equal to angle 4 because opposite angles should be equal. So using that property they are equal. So now what basically you know like uh, adjacent angles here angle 1 plus angle 2 should be 180 degree. Correct? These are the adjacent angles isn't it? Angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent next to each other. Next similarly we can write angle 2 plus angle 3 also 180 degree. Next angle 3 plus angle 4 is also 180 degree angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180 degree it means what here okay so adjacent angles are 180 sum is supplementary so every time we don't need to say that angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180 angle 3 plus angle 4 are 180 Instead of saying that you can directly say that adjacent angles are supplementary. So I understand supplementary means a pair of angles whose sum is 180. So in the same way, here 1 and 2 are supplementary, which are uh, sorry, which are adjacent. So that is why sum of those is 180. Similarly, angle 2 and angle 3 this is 180. Angle 3 and angle 4, 180. Angle 1 and angle 4 again, 180. So this is how you have to okay remember. I think this is angle 1 and angle 4 written right or angle 4 and angle 1 ok 1 plus 2, 2 plus 3, 3 plus 4 and so 4 plus 3. so this is the property which you have to remember what is the property I just reply uh, like you know like explain once again the adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary means in any parallelogram I have just taken an example here in any parallelogram the sum of the adjacent angles uh, pay, uh, you know like should be 180 degree what are the adjacent angles here 1 and 2 Correct? 2 and 3, 3 and 4, 4 and 1. Okay? As a pair, if you take 1 and 2, so 1 and 2 should be sum of, uh, you know, like angle 1 and angle 2 should be 180. Similarly, 2 and 3 should be 180. 3 and 4 should be 180. 4 and 1 should be 180. So this is called, uh, you know, this is actually the property mean. 
okay i hope you understood that so we are going to do some sums based on this topic okay or based on the that property so first one consider the parallelogram and find x y and z okay so in this case if you see first sum uh, i hope you can see this x and y z 100 degrees is here here remember they are given only one angle the remaining angle is not remaining angles we have to find so one you can understand one thing from this okay as we know that this you can name it it will be easier though a b c d okay you can name like this so or if you don't name also it's fine that's left to you but you have to understand we have to use properly so can i write y is equal to 100 degree can we write like that because opposite angles of a parallelogram this we already this property we discussed okay this is a parallelogram symbol no need to write every time parallelogram you write the symbol in you know. a so angle b and angle y it means angle uh, this angle and this angle should be equal because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal so can i write y is equal to 100 because opposite angles of a parallelogram similarly now coming to the next property which we use property number 2 angle z can i write 100 plus z is equal to 180 degree because adjacent angles are adjacent angles are of parallelogram or supplementary okay adjacent angles are of a parallelogram are supplementary so if they are supplementary it means what 100 plus z is equal to 180 degree can i write z is equal to 180 minus 100 so which will give you 80 degree correct so why can we write 100 plus z because we know for from property number 2 this plus this these are adjacent angles because next to each other so 100 plus z should be equal to 180 so z can be written as 180 minus 100 which is 80 degree so your angle z is 80 degree if this is 80 correct so uh, i'll just read uh, you know like it is this because we don't have uh, much space over there okay so here angle z we got 180 degree can i equate angle x z and the with x because angle x is equal to angle z opposite angles of a parallelogram opposite angles of parallelogram correct opposite angles of a parallelogram is equal so angle x is equal to angle z we know angle z is 80 so angle x should be 80 so we got angle x so now we have to find okay i think we got on we got y we got z we got x okay so the top we got x value y value and z the top this is very simple you have to understand basic properties of the <laughs> parallelogram I just reply. Uh, you know, like uh, I just re repeat one thing. In this question, if you observe that given only one angle, they are asking you to find the other angle, which are x, y, z. So first, what I write, I just write and y is equal to 100 because of, or you can write here 100 and y because y they are equal opposite angles of the parallelogram are equal. So we know from the property. And also. 100 plus z should be 180 because these two are adjacent angles. From property two, we know that 100 plus z should be equal to 180. Supplementary angle, so z can be written as 180 by 100 which is 80 degrees. So we have to find x. And again, from the property, uh, like we know that opposite of uh, opposite angles of parallelogram are equal. So z is opposite to x. Correct. So x should be equal to z. So z is 80 degrees. So definitely x should be. 80 degree. Okay. I hope you understood. I'll just remove this. Yeah. Coming to the next sum. In this case, also we have to find x, y, z. Here also we are given only you are given only with one angle. So what is given here? Yeah. First, let me write 
angle A is equal to 50 degree. Correct? First to think. Because opposite angles of a opposite angles of parallelogram. Correct? Angle A is equal to 50 because opposite to each other. So angle A is 50 degrees. So that first one we got. Next. What is the next one? The how to and and we know angle A is 50 and angle X and angle A are adjacent angles. Correct? So can I write X plus A is equal to 180 and always write the reason. Don't directly write the answers. Without reason, your uh, whatever you have written is completely wrong. Because in the sense, without reason, if you write, they will not consider it. So, you have to write the reason why they are equal to 180. So, x plus a is equal to 180. We know a value, isn't it? What is a? We got 50. So, x plus 50 is equal to 180. So, x is equal to 180 minus 50 which is 130. Correct? So x value is 130. So we got x as 130. Correct? Again we have to find y value. So if you get x value 130 and as you know x is equal to y because opposite angles of a or you can write directly x is equal to y. You need to write angle there. x is equal to y opposite angles of parallel. Opposite angles of parallelogram. Okay? So x, what is the value of x? So which is 130, so y is also 130 degree. Correct? So we got y value. So what we have to find next? You have to find z value. So how to find z? And all of you know, linear pair of angles. So this will form a linear pair. Because these two lines are lying on, these two angles are lying on a straight line. You might be knowing this uh, property on any straight line, any ray, all of you know what is a ray, right? A ray means a line segment which has only one point, it means which has a starting point, which you don't have an ending point, correct? Understood? A ray is a line which has only starting point and don't have any end point for that. Okay, this is called a ray. So actually this is a ray. Imagine that this is a line segment or ray, uh, line whatever it is. So when you, whenever you draw a ray on a straight line, so always the angles formed due to that ray are supplementary. The angles formed due to that ray are supplementary. It means this, for example, this angle 1, this angle 2 is today. So angle 1 plus angle 2 should be 180 degrees. Okay? Understood? So because why these are also called as linear pair angles. Why linear pair angles we call it as angles formed due to the line, correct? Angles formed on the line, basically. That's the reason it is a linear pair. Always remember, linear pair angles will make 180 degrees. So, here, these two are linear pair angles. See, exactly, they look like that. This is one ray and uh, this is one line segment. Uh, this formed on one line. Okay, so that's the reason A plus Z should be equal to 180. Okay, A plus Z should be equal to 180. I will write the reason as linear pair angle. Linear pair. Write linear pair. So, if X plus Z is, sorry, A plus Z is equal to 180, so we have to find Z, which is 180 minus A. What is A value we got? A value is 50 degrees. So, 180 minus 50 is 130. So, what is the answer? So, uh, and the Z, which is 130. Okay, guys, I'll just repeat this once again. See, basically, we have to find X, Y, Z, and A. Correct? See, actually, this A is not given. I only taken. Remember, in the textbook, if you observe this, angle is not given. So, for your understanding, I have taken this angle. Okay? So, what we have to find here, we have to find X, Y, Z. So, it is given, and the A is 50 degree. Correct? Angle A is given as 50 degree. So if angle A is 50 degree, so opposite. Why angle A is 50? Because opposite angles of the parallel. See, opposite to A is 50 degree. Angle opposite to A is 50. That's the reason angle A is 50. By using the property opposite angles of parallel. Next, 
angle X and angle A should be equal to 180 because we know from the property to supplementary uh, what is it the adjacent angles are supplementary so X and A are supplementary angles so X plus A should be equal to so X and A are adjacent angles so X plus A should be equal to 180 because adjacent angles okay parallel so A value you know 50 degrees so X is equal to 180 minus 50 130 degrees so we got X as 130 degrees and look at this X is opposite to Y. Correct. Angle X is opposite to Y. So can we write X is equal to Y because it is an opposite angle of the parallelogram is equal. So X is equal to Y. So X is 130. Correct. So Y should be equal to 130. And here, if you look at this, A and Z will form a linear space because this, if you consider this straight line, a ray or line, or uh, you know, ray is uh, this uh, line on the line. These two angles are formed. Actually, these two angles are formed on the line. Correct. So that is the reason they are considered as linear space. It's just like this. Okay. Any line on the line, if two angles are formed, how can you form? Uh, how can uh, how can angles will be formed on a line if you draw one more ray like this? For example, if you consider this as a line, if you draw one ray like this, definitely it will be divided into two different angles. So if you take this two angle sum, that should be equal to. 180. That is called linear pair angle. Why they are linear pair angles formed on the line? That is the reason they are considered as linear pair. So A plus Z is equal to 180, and Z is equal to 180 minus A, which is 180 minus 50, which is 130 degree. Okay. I hope you understood. Okay. Uh, we have one more sum. Let me complete that. Yeah, these sums are of uh, you know be, uh, related to the properties of parallelogram. Okay, um, this is uh, yes, yes. The sum is in the figure best is given as a, you can take anything even A B C D also. They are just given this notation. You can easily remember the sum. So B H T best is a parallelogram. Find x, y, and z. This is almost the same. Uh, you know like. Uh, the same kind of sum we did before. So now here, you have to find x, y, z. Why? Look, I just write x is equal to 100 degree. Why? Because opposite angles of a parallelogram. You have to write the, you know, like reason also here. I am writing here. Opposite angles of parallelogram. Correct. So x is equal to 100. So we got x value. Now we have to find. You know z value. As we know, these two are supplementary angles, correct? These two are sorry, adjacent angles. So, what is the sum of the adjacent angles? One is because adjacent angles are supplementary from property two. So, z plus 100 degree is equal to 180. Reason is adjacent angles of parallelogram, correct? So that is the reason z plus 100 should be equal to 180. So what is that value? 180 minus 100 is equal to 80. So that value is 80 degree. So how to find y? The last term only we discussed. This two angles will form a linear space because this uh, the angles form due to the line on the line actually. So so this will become a Linear space. So can I write y plus z is equal to 180 because they will form a linear space. Correct. So to find y, what I can do, I'll just send z that side. So 180 minus z, which is 180 minus 80. Correct. So which will be 100 degree. Okay. So 100 degree will be the. Okay. I'll just uh, explain this once again. Okay, and this till here only the solution. That is the solution of the last. Don't think this. In the figure, P H T is a parallelogram. Find the x, y, z. So it is given already that uh, they have only given the figure. They have given that this angle is 100. As we know that opposite angles in a parallelogram is are equal. So this angle, this angle should be equal. So x should be equal to 100. Correct, because this angle is 100, so it should be equal to 100. So why the reason is opposite angles of a parallelogram. Next, okay, don't get confused. I am putting a border for the sum. So this is solution. 
Now z plus 100 is equal to 180. Why z plus 100 is equal to 180? Because these two will form a linear. Uh, what is that? These two angles are supplementary because they are adjacent angles. As we know from property two, adjacent angles are supplementary. It means 180. So z plus 100 is equal to 180 degree. Reason written adjacent angles are parallelogram. So z will be 180 minus 100, which is 80. And also we have to find y. Correct. So This y and z are the lines uh, angles formed in a line. Correct means which are considered as linear pair angles. What is the linear pair angle sum? Okay, uh, angle of a straight line is 180. So obviously, uh, you know, like the linear pair sum should be 180. So y plus z is equal to 180 degree. So y is equal to 180 minus z. Z value is 80. Correct. So 180 minus 80 will be 100. So 100 will be the Angle five. I hope you understood this clearly. And this uh, properties you have to like uh, remember. So because they might ask problems based on properties. Some examples we saw. Okay. Thank you. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe and support us. Take care.